Miss? Are you helping them? Yes. I can't let them stay outside all night. My family owns some houses around here. I'm from Roran, too. I must enter the city, but I have no permit. Can you help me? I know I'm being presumptuous. It's an urgent matter. You're capable. I can see that. How's this? Take my sword as collateral. Rest assured, I won't be any trouble. Longchuan Yu Cheng, forged by the Master Ou Yezi. I don't think you're ordinary. You know Roran language, but you're not fluent. You're not really from Roran. But I believe if Ou Yezi gave you his sword, you can't be bad. Come on, I will get you inside. Great. Stop! Damn it! Check him. Six Arab merchants with goods! In you go. Mm. Thank you, sir. It's fine. <laughs> Miss, thanks. My pleasure. You were lucky that my merchant friends agreed to help. Miss, you're very straightforward. So I will be. If we meet up again, I'll treat you to wine. Mm. Hey, wait! Your sword is precious. You should keep it. <laughs> but... We all need help at some point in our lives. Take it. Thank you. I have inquired about the identity of the unknown person who bought the beads. They said they heard the servant calling him Master Zhao. So it was him. How could he be so cruel? He committed a grave mistake with the kiln incident. But Eldest Miss didn't say anything about it. But he... <sighs> Who's there? Come out! Dad... Father, this can't be true. How could Uncle get this for Sister's dowry? Oju, oh, don't be scared. This is all just a misunderstanding. Remember, don't mention this to your mother and uncle. Keep it to yourself, you hear? Mm. Dad, you think... She refused to give me the necklace because she knew something was amiss. All these years, she has been dealing with jewelry. I think she must have realized something was wrong. I've blamed her wrongly. find you anywhere. Why are you sitting here alone? What's the matter? Mom, did you and Uncle try to harm Sister? Did you buy those red musk beads? What nonsense is this? I just knew it. You and Uncle did do it. You've gone too far. Why are you acting crazy for no good reason? Jude. How could I possibly harm her? I don't know anything about the red or green beads. What are you even saying? You really don't know? Listen to me, just tell me what's wrong. Tell me. No, nothing. Since you don't know, I'll leave it. But... Look, Jen, you annoy me.
Dad. It's so late. As a girl, you should know that. I'm sorry, Dad. I was at the shop and just lost all track of time. Jen, have you figured out that your stepmother was behind the beads? Dad, why don't we just let it go? I know she dislikes you, but I didn't expect her to employ such a vicious tactic. Don't worry, I won't blow up the matter. But I will punish her. Dad, you don't have to. If you care, don't marry me off so soon. I still want to remain at home. Also, I'll worry about the business at the shop. <laughs> don't be so silly. No 17-year-old girl would rather stay at home than get married. Dad, if I get married, who'd help you manage the shop? <sighs> if only I'd been blessed with boys, not girls. Dad! Many women in Northern Chi have businesses. There are female officials in the palace. I enjoy business. I don't want to get married. Dad, please just let me stay at home. I don't want to get married. John, you are ambitious. Just like your dear sweet mother. You've done business with me for years. You've grown wise and classy, but... You're still only a girl. I accept your fate. Marriage is your only way forward in life. All right, to bed. Please don't be mad at your stepmother. She's just ignorant. Harmony in the family breeds prosperity. You remember this, right? Mm. Good night, Dad. Get some sleep. Mm. Her maid said her father stayed in her room for almost two hours. I wonder what they were talking about. She just heard about gold and the business. Sister, something is amiss. From what you said, brother-in-law already found out we were behind the beads. He didn't scold me, and he got a notary from the streets here. Is he thinking? <gasps> Sister, I'll find that notary at once. Forget the cost. I must find out what he wrote for brother-in-law. speech. John was the late emperor's favorite prince. The late emperor often said he was the best candidate for the throne. But sadly, the good die young. Highness, it's so sudden. How am I going to survive without you? Sister! Your Highness! Physician! Your Highness! What's wrong with her? She's grieving. She's just fainted. She'll be okay. Quick, get her into bed. Yes. Come. Here we go. Zhang and Jan are siblings. Of course she's grieving. Even I haven't slept for the past few days. I've specially asked His Majesty to make Gao Zhan royal brother. Yan Fu. Yes. By imperial decree, from this day on, Cheng Guang Gao Zhan, talented and versed in literature, has sadly died young. He is now officially royal brother. That's all. I'll take it! Highness! 
I knew it! I knew you couldn't be dead! Now isn't the time to say so. Sit. Sir! I'm sorry. I wasn't here in time for Father's funeral. And I made your highness worry. Please forgive me. Get up. Get up. Get up. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're back. As for the throne... Gao Yan! Gao Yan. You're the eldest son. You're the rightful successor. And I've just been made royal brother. I'm delighted with that. From today on, I'll do my utmost and make great efforts to help you develop Northern Chi. Gao Zhang, from today on, we'll work as one. So Northern Chi has peace and stability. Long live your majesty! Long live your highness! Long live your majesty! Long live your majesty! Highness, how did you escape? Long story. Empress Lo tried to kill me. Then she upped security in the city. She knows that the Roran princes will seek revenge for me. Then I met a kind person who helped me pass the guards in time. <laughs> oh. Highness, you're circumspect. You're like Kong Ming without a fan. Or Xiao Hu with no beard. Huh? And you only appeared after His Majesty gave you the title of Royal Brother too. And from what you said, You've got the position of Crown Prince. Hey, did you notice how ashen Her Majesty's face turned when she heard about that? So pale! <laughs> That's enough. This is serious. I merely swam with the current. And when I got back, the throne had been succeeded. I had to secure my position before anything else. Mm. Yeah. Highness, a maid outside asked me to pass this to you. Highness. Bring her in. Yes. You're dismissed. Yes. 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 Greetings, Your Highness. Rise. So, she sent you here? Yes. When Her Highness heard you were missing, she fainted and is still in bed. She was thrilled when she heard that you're still alive. She sent me with her regards, Highness. She suffered. Do you have any messages for her that I can convey? No. She's Royal Consul, that's all. That's what he said? It's been ages. He still won't forgive me. Highness, you should put the past behind you. I don't want to. He may hate me, but I can wait. And someday, he'll know my problems and forgive me. Gao Yan is tubercular. If his mother had the best medicine on earth, she still couldn't save his life. His days are numbered. <laughs> if Gao Yan has no son, John takes the throne as the new crown prince. <gasps> you once mentioned an ancient Xianbei custom. A brother can marry his brother's widow, correct? Yes, but Highness, this matter is serious. You can't- Why can't I? What have I been doing in the palace all this time? Gaojan, I promise you, you won't call me that again. That Gaojan, I've misjudged his tactics. He secured the Crown Prince position. He thinks that Yan won't be get an heir. Ching Chang, sent an order to bring beautiful girls. But his majesty never favors those girls. I don't care. In any case, Yan must produce an heir very quickly. 
When that happens, I'll somehow depose Gao Zhan. It takes great effort to seize the throne. I can't let him reclaim it. Yes. How could brother-in-law do it? It's really true? Absolutely true. I spent five tails of gold in bribing that notary. Brother-in-law made him amend his will. <laughs> that lucky Lu Chen will become rich. He's raised her dowry by 5,000 tails of gold. If something happens to brother-in-law, Ju's assets will pass to Lu Chen. And me? I'm afraid you'll get two houses. And they're not worth a lot. She will get married. And he leaves nothing for me. Is he out of his mind? No wonder he hasn't said anything about the beads. He's trying to punish us that way. Sister, at this rate, will we get any benefits? Why don't we... strike first and make certain... What? How? me. You've left me no choice. Jen. Dad, Master. I thought about what you said all last night. If you really don't want to marry so early, I'll discuss with the Minister of Defense and find a way to postpone your marriage for now. Dad, are you serious? Don't rejoice too soon. I'm not doing this for your business dream. Oh. I mean, look at you. You only know how to read ledgers. You can't embroider. If I don't make Nanny teach you, you'll disgrace us even if you do get married. As long as I'm not getting married. You still are, on a later date. Smiling like a fool. Why are you so happy? I get to stay with you, so I'm happy. <laughs> Xiaoxiang, make a cup of tea with the new leaves. Sure. Dad, please try the tea. I had some before. There's a mild orchid scent. It's lovely. Orchid scent? Mm. You got it from the foreign merchants. <laughs> Master. Dad, try some. <sighs> hey, Xiaohuan, didn't you go and help Nanny? Oh, she told me to come back. Oh, that's all. <laughs> I don't smell any orchid scent. Huh? But the color of the tea is very nice. <sighs> Jen, mm -hmm. I came because I have something important to say. Go on. You have a temper. You keep things pent up inside and split hairs. That's no good. We should be open-minded and say whatever is on our mind. If you don't do that, people won't know what you're thinking. You'll be misunderstood. Oh. Also. You are a people person. You're kind and fair. That's no good. They'll take advantage. When you marry into an influential family, there will be about a thousand different kinds of conflicts and intrigues. If you aren't mindful about them, how will you rise through the ranks? Dad... You're inexperienced in the ways of the world. I'll teach you slowly in my free time. Mm. Ah, and... <sighs> this was your mother's favorite item. The Nine Phoenix Pin. I'd wanted to give it to you on the day you got married. But for some unknown reason, I brought it out with me today. 
Jen. Your mom was from a reputable family. And if it hadn't been for bad times, she would never have been my concubine. I hope in future, like your mother, you'll be... Dad? Dad? What is it? Dad? 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 What's the matter with you? Someone help! Someone help! Wake up, Dad! Somebody! I need help! Dad! Miss! Can't go in there. Don't go in there. Miss! Miss, come back! Please! Miss, no, we you can't, can't go in there. there. Please, stop! Don't miss! Come back! Miss! Miss! Move! Miss! Don't put us on the spot! Madam told us that... The physician is examining Master. Move it! Move it! Hold it. Stepmother, how's Dad? How dare you ask? Men! Tie up this wretch who murdered her father. Shall we? Ask the head of the clan and the other elders to hurry here at once. There has been a murder. What? Nonsense! I didn't kill my father! Your dad died because of the tea you gave him. We even have an eyewitness. Don't deny it. Rubbish! You're lying! My dad's alive! Master! Master! Sister-in-law, you claim that Lu Zhen murdered her own father with a cup of tea. That seems too hasty. Yes. If he was poisoned, it could easily have been someone else. Please listen. If there wasn't concrete evidence, I would believe she could kill her own father in broad daylight. I have here my husband's amended will. Everything will be easily explained when you read this. <laughs> when I die, the family assets shall be halved between my two daughters. Until Lu Ju gives birth, all her assets shall be managed by Lu Zhen alone. Really? What wow. assets? How could he do this? This young wretch wants to get her hands on his assets sooner. That's why she did this crime. Please, sir. You must uphold justice for my daughter and me. She murdered her own father. <laughs> she should get the death penalty. Lu Jen, do you have anything to say? His will? I... I was not aware. If I didn't have the evidence, you would lie even more. This wretch, Lu Jen, deserves to be killed. Men, take her and tie her to a rock. Then drown her in the backyard pond. Make her pay for her father's life. I didn't do it. Come. I didn't do it. Come. I didn't do it. Come on, miss. I didn't do Get it. Get off! <laughs> Leave her alone! She wouldn't hurt anyone! She didn't kill her father! Joe! Mom! Shut up! <sighs> Can I see the will he left for me? It's my right. Listen, if I wanted to kill him for money, why didn't I wait until after I got married? Why would I kill him before he changed his will? Besides, as you said, someone else, besides me, could have poisoned my father. Stepmother, Xiao Huan brought the tea from the kitchen. 
Why don't you question them instead of just accusing me? You... She... she's right. She loved him. She couldn't have killed our dad. What you say makes sense. Where's Xiao Huan? I'm at your service, sir. Xiao Huan, be honest with us. Did you tamper with the tea that you brought? Sir, I am innocent. Lu Zhen bought the tea leaves. The kitchen boiled it. I just brewed the tea and brought it to Lu Zhen. I didn't have time to tamper with it. Really? I told Xiao Xiang to do it. Why did you bring the tea? Xiao Xiang, come. Tell us what happened. Yes, miss. I was brewing up the tea when Sister Xiao Huan suddenly came and said I was needed at once. She said the butler was looking everywhere for me. So I looked for him. That just isn't true, sir. I swear I never called for you today. Xiao Xiao. Sir, fetch the coroner to examine the tea he drank. I think something is fishy. I was given the tea by the foreign merchants. When I tried it, it smelled of orchids. But when father drank the tea, he said there was no scent. So somebody must have swapped the leaves. Also, if I plan to kill him, why would I do it in my bedroom? That just doesn't make any sense at all, does it? If he had died somewhere else, I wouldn't be a suspect. And my father just died. How come she got his will so fast? You accuse me. I would never harm him. All right. Enough. Butler, please go and ask the coroner to come here. As for Xiao Huan, men, tie her up now. Yes! yes. Get off! Let go! Oh, easy. There's no need. I murdered him. It's her. But would it make me his concubine? I hate him. This isn't right. Liu Zhao was not lecherous. Yes, I know that. But if we bring this matter to court, the whole Lu family will be disgraced. So, we finally know the truth. Xiao Huan killed her master. Unforgivable! But, as she has killed herself, this will be the end of this case. Sister, since Lu Zhen is innocent, release her at once. All right. Untie her. She didn't kill him, but Xiao Huan was her maid, and she failed to discipline her. She needs to be punished. Send her to temple to recite scriptures for a month to free her father's soul. That is your family matter. Thank you for... Settling today's matter. Get out now. Yes. yes. Come out now. Hey, sister. Some tea? Sister, that was dangerous. I didn't expect Lu Chen to escape. Thank God Xiao Huan knew exactly what to do. Send more tales to her folks. Yes. It'll be trouble if Lu Chen stays. Don't worry. When I put poison into the tea, I made arrangements. You are most wise. Buddha bless my father so he can rest in peace. Sister! <laughs> Zhu, what's wrong? Sister, you must try and escape. I heard mother and uncle say you'll be married to Lord Wang first thing tomorrow morning. 
She has accepted the dowry. Two hundred gold tails. Lord Wong? But he's nearly seventy. Right. That's why you have to leave. Now come on, quick. Tell young master that I'm looking for him very urgently. Fine, I will tell him. It's urgent. Right. Who is it calling at this hour? It's me. Lu Chen? That's how my father died. I have no reliable relatives or friends. And you're the only one I can turn to now. Jen, don't worry. Since we were betrothed, we are family. I'll help you if anything happens. But there's... Something odd about this. I think I should discuss it with my parents. But... Don't worry. Rest here a while. I promise, when you wake up, everything will be fine. <laughs> At worst, we will get married. Huh? And when you become mistress, Zhao Yinglan would not dare to entertain such ideas anymore. Go, and fetch clothes for young mistress, and bring some food. Yes. Jen, you must be tired after all this. I'm okay, thank you. You don't have to be so polite. I didn't expect your dad. Have a rest. Good night. Mm. Some water. Dad, Mom, I need to talk to you both. Okay. Didn't the family leave half their assets as their dowry? If I don't marry her soon, then the money. You fool! Madam Zhao will send her to be some old man's concubine. <gasps> How will we get the Lu family's money then? Lu Jen, forget her. Why don't we send her back to the Lu family in the morning? We don't want trouble. All right, stop. Whose maid are you? Where are you going? Where's your badge? I'm the seamstress hired by a madam. I'm finished. I'm leaving. A seamstress? Whatever for. Stop her! Huh? Li <gasps> Cheng, what are you doing? Sorry. 
I have my difficulties. Take her. Go! What a little wench you are. You were actually trying to elope? You have disgraced the Lu family. I was going to marry you to Lord Wang, but you're unappreciative. Listen, my father betrothed me to Li Cheng. Everyone in the Lu family knows, so why would I elope? And my dad just died, and you talk of weddings? What's your intention? You are still so stubborn. Do you really think you're still that awe-inspiring, Miss Lu? I'll be honest with you. It's a real honor for you to be Lord Wang's concubine. I found the midwife who delivered you back then. Your mother gave birth to you barely eight months after she got married. What does that make you? You had a different father. You're not part of the Lu family. Nonsense! No, it is not. The midwife who delivered you is staying in the backyard. Can't be. It can't. Why didn't he tell me if I'm not his daughter? He was bewitched, young lady. He was fooled by that vixen all his life. But I am not stupid. The Lee family wants the eldest daughter of the Lu family. And I can't possibly deliver them a fake, can I? Annoying girl. You kill your father. And you falsely accuse me of mistreating my stepdaughter. You will not get away with it. Lock up this traitor. Yes. Impossible. Dad, please tell her I'm your daughter, your real daughter. She's lying. I don't believe her. I won't believe her! Let me uh, miss, in! Miss, Let me in miss, now! I'm sorry. Uh, miss, please go back. Madam told us that no one's allowed in, including you. I'm sorry. Move it! Move! Uh, come back! Sister! Sis! Don't make them mad! Go back! Zhu, so she'll only lock me up for a couple of days. I'll be okay. Don't worry. You should go back. You'll be implicated. Dad, I need you. How could you bear to leave me behind to face so many problems? I don't know what to do. Please help me. Tell me, what do I do now? her in this dress and fix her hair so she looks pretty. Why are you staring? You look fierce. Save your energy for your old man tonight. Sew the veil into her hair. Quick, time is short. Yes, madam. Nanny, tell me, am I dad's real daughter? Listen, stop asking about that. She will tie you in the sedan chair. Take this. Look for a chance. 
Hey, I don't know what Minister Lee will make of this, eh? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. I heard from the head maid. Minister Lee and Madam reached an agreement yesterday. It's so strange. They, they just, just changed, changed the, bride. the bride. Officials' business. Turn right. back. Master! Who blocks my way? A female palace official. It's her carriage. Hurry, get her. Quick, go. Oh, oh, Hurry! Oh my Capture her! Oh, Quickly! Oh, oh, Watch where you're going! I'm sorry! She's here! Oh, there she is! There she is! Oh, get her off! Yeah. Get her off! Get her off! Get her off! Get her off! Get off! Get off! It's you.